Yo, Luvan. Check this out. Get it. Done. I'm Luan Bluffnet and this is Stefan. Okay, so today we're doing unboxing first impressions of whatever this is. What we're trying to do with this video or series, we're trying some budget items for video makers or photographers, whatever the case may be. So you don't have to go out, buy it and it's crap. So we're doing that for you. You're welcome. By so the way. these things uh, I ordered from Take A Lot like three weeks ago. Uh, it actually arrived like two three days after I've ordered them, but uh, we're only doing this one now This video now due to the fact that we both have eight to five jobs. We're busy over the weekends So this is now our unboxing video. I was really excited for this and to actually pass the time I left this in the office Every night so I didn't take it home and mm. I didn't want to open it every night So I think let's start this off. Let's yes. see what we have We have the escape vertical frame housing for the Osmo this one we're going to utilize for the Osmo while vlogging uh, what is nice about this one is that it has a cold shoe on the side where you can mount a mic so you can utilize this with our 1k gorilla port with the Osmo for a nice handheld action Osmo let's take a look how it looks apologies for the sound the AC is running it's extremely hot today extremely hot so with this escape vertical frame housing we have our actual housing where the Osmo just slides in closes clips back on we have one screw that comes with the set and this is a J mount and it looks the same as the GoPro it's J also mount. it's the same one you utilize to hook it onto your chest or your head strap oh with this clip yeah with the clip that slides in and actually this is very secure you can actually do this yeah. look so at the top one can actually see how it looks yeah, this one, I remember we actually used one like this on the Osmo uh, with a chest strap when we did the 24 hour race. We gave it to one of the riders and oh, said, I remember, yeah. clip it in, just take a couple of laps and we tried to use the footage from that. Mm. So this thing actually just slides in. Your housing slides into your J-frame and the screw goes in from the side and they tightens. So you have now a tightened screw and it's quite secure, not going anywhere. Next up, we have the Boya BYMM1. I think Luvan should talk about this one. He already has a Rode mic that's the same approximate size as this one. And to be honest, he has more experience with sound than me. But I think to start off, we're not really gonna do, go through the specs now because we want to do a comparison between this one and the Rode video mic. So yeah. I think we're just so, going to look how this, what's in the box? How does it look compared to the... What's in the box? Compared to the road that you've got in the box. The road is double the price of this? Yeah, I think the road was uh, 1500 Yes. So it's triple the price. This one was 499 Or around 499 dollars Get your mini jack 3.5mm on both sides. One is actually... This is for the normal camera to cam to mic connection. Get your shock mount. Ooh, this is a bit stiffer than the road video micro. So would be interesting to see how this actually works when it gets bumped a little bit. This is the connection from a phone to the mic, which is quite nice. Something that the road doesn't include. A little pouch, something that the road also doesn't include. And we have the mic, also included with a dead cat, which is quite nice. So it's a shotgun card with microphone, meaning it's gonna reject all the sounds from the side and from the back, only gonna pick up from the front, which we will test in our comparison. I can't wait to test this out. Yeah. I think really it's gonna be quite exciting. I'm planning on combining this together with the 1K 
The 1K only stands for it carries one kilogram, which is actually quite fake because we tested and this thing does not carry one kilogram. No. But uh, use that with the Osmo connected up with uh, the dead cat and uh, see what we can do. I'm actually planning on doing a little hike tomorrow or something with that setup just up a little hill next to my house and see where you how it works just to test the setup yeah. yeah and i think yeah uh, after i've put completed the setup i'll actually to, like show you guys how it looks because i know there's a converter that you require from uh, audio jack to your usb c type yes, yes. that goes awesome. into the osmo yeah. hopefully we can sort that one out and make a quick video just to show how we connect it and how it's gonna look mm. uh, oh and that's gonna include our little housing this little housing right here next up i'm quite excited for this one the last thing that we need to see, the box is completely unbranded. Plus point, this is also actually manufactured by Escape, the same guys that made this. This is a stabilizer for your normal cameras, your DSLRs, but a small one. It uh, supports just under one kilogram weight. Okay. So hopefully my uh, kit setup, which is the Canon EOS 200D, 200D, uh, with just a kit lens of 18 to 55. I really hope it's going to be able to carry that one quite comfortably. Uh, that's also something we're going to have to test. But this is a little stabilizer. Oh, one of those. <clears throat> so the stabilizer here, yeah, you've got your handle, together with a little ball head connector there. Eh? Well, we'll still have to test and see what's going on there. This thing moves around a lot. <laughs> it's supposed to move because the handle is supposed to stand still while the whole contraption. Oh. So your hand takes all the movement and the camera stays stabilized. All right. Good stuff. So we have our little handle there. Then we have the actual weighted system. Wow, the build quality looks really nice. Yeah, this feels wow. like proper steel. It feels like it's quite tight. This does feel a bit flimsy if you look at how that movement is, but I hope that will actually also help out. So yes. this looks like the adjuster where you adjust it, where you want to situate the weight. Yeah, because you have to balance it perfectly. Right? Yeah, so you're going to have to connect up your handle. And I think that's the thread it's going to go into. I think this is a good hour's work. Oh, maybe this is why it actually tightens before. And it's not just loose. Tightening up. Let's loosen that one again. And we can loosen that one to drop it a bit. You can see it actually touches the handle. Basically, this is how it's going to look. You're going to mount up your camera. And you're going to have to yes, see how it's weighted. I yes. see it does have a little bit of a... Okay, so this is probably not for major movements. This is going to be for small jerky movement. And I think the balancing is going to be... Something that you will have to learn. Quite, yeah. yeah. That's something we're going to have to learn. But it, that, because it looks like this can also move. So you have the oh, camera that you can okay. adjust. And even side on the side, side, maybe you can yeah. show it there. On that one, there we go. So you'll have to like nail the balancing in order for this to work perfectly. And it but has some weights. This doesn't have extra weights. This is all it has, no? Yeah, but it looks like it can be moved. But it looks like you can remove some. Yes, yes. So if you unscrew this, you can actually remove weights. Yes. If you only want to utilize two of them. But there you go. So now we have two. A little less weight. This actually is quite heavy. Perfectly stable with nothing on it. Nice. I'm excited I'm to excited. see how this I know, I know, Lou and you also have one of these, but it's not the same one of, the, of these. And I think, again, this yes. one was about a third of the price of yours. Yes. I have the steady cam, not the glide cam. It's also a, it's from newer. It was a thousand five hundred rand. And yes, a third of the price. Yeah. Yes. So basically all of the items here, except for now the housing for the Osmo, is stuff that you already owned that was triple the price. Yes. And we've used them making short films. We've used them doing a range of other things. Yes, yes. And they've worked brilliantly. So we like to see now how we can do with budget items. Yes, so we have to basically compare this to the Steadicam, this to the Rode Video Micro. So there's two videos and that one... It's well, just a plain test video. and it's, a, it's for a vlogging setup. Yeah. Because I don't have my own vlogging setup. Uh, yes. I thought let's get one of those, get a little mic like this one and start my own vlogging setup. Yes. This one was specifically just bought for my DSLR to see if I cannot make some nice footage with it. And that's it for this unboxing, first impressions. First impressions. And uh, tell us what you thought about it. What do we need to change? Uh, we do know it's a bit noisy about it regarding the aircon and uh, also it's still maybe a bit echoey in this place. Yes. We're still setting up a studio here. Uh, it's, a, it's a new studio. Till next time. Enjoy. Cheers.